Hello, welcome, welcome, gorgeous beings of light. This is Almara coming to you with the 100 Miracles in 100 Days project and the effortless manifesting and awareness activation quickie. So let's begin by just taking a long, slow, deep breath in. Or as deep as you can go, holding it for as long as it's comfortable, and then breathing out through the mouth. Letting go of everything that's outside this moment, and bringing your awareness within. Letting it out with a bit of a sigh helps you. Or a bit of sound. Helps you bring your awareness within and let go of everything that's outside this moment. And when you feel that your energy has moved back within you, you can begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And even if you have some challenges breathing, then just follow your breath. The main reason we do it is to get you to stop the monkey mind and come back within. And if you, no matter how shallow that breath is, if you, if you follow that breath in through your nose and out through your nose, it shifts your awareness. Focus breathing shifts your awareness from monkey mind back inside your being so it was just brought to my awareness the other day that not everybody can take deep breaths so but the key is it's not about the deep breath it's about you following the breath okay so today we're on miracle 41 and i have some awesome stuff to share with you um, another fifth dimension miracle which we will probably move them across to being fifth dimension miracles since that's the direction my work is going in for 2023. It's what spirit taught me, how to connect to the fifth dimension in 1997. And I taught it probably all the way up until about 2012, when I'm 2013 actually, when I moved to Tilpa Tilpa and we didn't have very good... Um, well, I, uh, I had a temple in Melbourne, which I used to teach it face to face. And I didn't have good enough internet connection to be able to teach it, um, teach it online. So I went off and learned about the quantum and all sorts of powerful stuff, but it feels like very much the fifth dimension, the basic fifth dimension stuff is so needed because there's so much rubbish around about the fifth dimension, but it's where we're all going to. It's where we're all meant to be. So this is the perfect time to bring it back and teach it to many, many people. So before we do that, we will do the awareness activation. And we're just going to do it in really, really quick form. Because if you've been following this for 41 days now, you should be able to just breathe and just let go of everything without tossing anything out the window, out the door, and be in your awareness. Even if my voice is irritating you, you can trust, chuck that out the window too. But it, if it's doing that, it is because it is bringing your poop to the surface. And that's one of my great gifts I bring to the world is that I have the ability to bring anything that's out of alignment with your soul to the surface really fast. And if you're smart, you'll just breathe and invite that stuff to come up and pass. If you're silly, like some woman last night, <coughs> no names mentioned, <coughs> you will project that stuff back to me and miss the greatest opportunity of your life 
to be healed from just listening to me tell you a few miracle stories. So just breathe. Just breathe. What that really means is she wasn't ready to take responsibility for her life and for the things she feels. And that's fine as well. And Because until you can do that, there's no point in even working with me. Don't even bother applying to do the fifth dimension training <clears throat> if you're not 100% fully connected to your divine I am presence. Well, you may not be fully connected to your divine I am presence, but if you're not fully connected to taking responsibility for everything you feel, then this isn't the right training for you. All right. So let's bring our awareness in. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose and bring it into your body. Everything to do with your body. All the things that you've been told about your body. And toss it out the window. Or pain. Or diseases. Height, weight, shape. Hair colour, skin colour, eye colour. Not relevant in the big scheme of things. It's just the temple that houses your body. But if you place all your focus on it and none on your light, it'll be taking up 100% of your attention. So just toss it out the window or out the door. See if you can't feel just a little bit lighter because of that. Now bring your awareness into your identity. Everything that says that it's you, name, address, phone number, occupation, car, house, kids, pets, dogs, family, toss it all out the window or out the door and breathe. See if you feel lighter without all of those labels. Now please bring your awareness into all of your feelings, emotions and opinions and toss them out the door or out the window too. Now please bring your awareness into your beautiful mind and take all of your thoughts, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind and your subconscious mind. I just breathe into them and toss them out the window with the breath out or out the door. And just breathe. See if you can feel yourself lightening up without all these stories about who you are and who you're supposed to be. So you just love it when the wind comes up to give you a big old confirmation. Now please bring your awareness into your heart, your beautiful, beautiful heart. So all of your heartache and your heartbreak and your heart walls, just seek and find, gather and bind everything, everything that has caused you heartache that you've buried so nobody would hurt you again. Of course someone just started to whip a snip. <laughs> just get all of that stuff to do with your heart and toss it out the window or out the door and breathe. Breathe deeply into the magnificence of who you truly are. Now please bring your awareness into anything and everything that's out of alignment with the infinite wealth and the infinite abundance that exists in every cell of your being. So all lack and limitation, all scarcity and struggle, all poverty consciousness, chuck that all out the window or out the door and breathe. See if you could tap into that infinite abundance that exists within you right now. See if you can tap into your multimillionaire self. That's there, but maybe just buried under decades of poverty consciousness. So if you push that aside, 
Oh, just about an angel drop in and connecting to all of the magnificence of who you truly are and wake up the unlimited money and abundance that exists within you. Breathe. And now please bring your awareness into all of the shame. Any shame or blame or pain or suffering that you carry around with you from this lifetime or any lifetime and toss it out the window, out the door and breathe. And then if you could please bring your awareness into all of the fear, anger and rage and toss that out the window too. And because this is meant to be an awareness activation, I keep adding things onto it that I come across. But it really should be just all about you breathing into your awareness. So I'm going to, this is the, probably the last time I'm going to do this, but I'm going to add here. If you have your own stuff, you know, then toss that out the window too. So all anxiety, all depression, gosh, toss out all those bloody labels people give you. Bipolar, dyslexic, um, Asperger's, what's that other big one? It's big now, autistic, toss them all out the window and breathe any depression, hatred, jealousy, envy, all of those lower stuff that goes on. Toss it all out the window. Guilt. Anything that is less than love or above, toss it all out the window or out the door and breathe. And if you're aware enough, you may have just felt that great big bolt of gold light awaken within you through the third eye or be it could awaken anywhere in your being when you let go of all of the stuff and all of the stories that are just in your one percent that's just one percent of who you are there is 99 percent untapped pure potential pure god source which in this case we've been calling awareness but it could easily be supreme intelligence your god goddess within your higher self Universal oneness, there's a million names for God, just pick one you like. Krishna consciousness, Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness. Just breathe into that. The great thing about tossing the stuff out the window is it gives you an opportunity to see who you are without it. And if you're new and have just landed here today, please go back to either this, this one or go back to the very first activation we did and connect in, that's a full activation of your awareness. Because from now on, from this one on, we're just gonna go straight into the awareness because I really wanna share lots about the fifth dimension. Most of the miracles are gonna be fifth dimensional miracles from now on. But just for now, breathe into that awareness, breathe into that magnificence of who you are. And it's from here, right here in this place where you can just go. Show me. Show me how I can own my own home. Show me how I can meet my soulmate. Show me how I can have a fit and healthy, strong and powerful, lean and flexible body. Whatever it is that you're looking for. Ask when you're in your awareness because there's 99% untapped pure potential that's connected to all time and space, all dimensions of light, all universes, all galaxies, all star systems. And if you ask here and breathe, it goes out into the universe and brings those things back to you. Effortless manifesting. Alrighty. So now we're going to bring ourselves to today's miracle. Miracle number 41. And I've told bits of this miracle. Um, I know I mentioned it in the first one and I mentioned it again. But I, because it's such a powerful fifth dimension miracle... And because it shows clearly what can show up when you let go of the control, I want to tell it again. So it's the miracle of one of my students from America that wanted to do 
my um, spiritual intensive. That's what I went from doing to do one on one spiritual intensive when I stopped having the temple. And um, she didn't have the money. Well, she sort of had the money, but they just paid a lot of money in taxes, like 20 grand in taxes. And she didn't want to use the last of the money for herself and she didn't want to lie to her husband. And I said to her, do you know you're meant to be doing this? And she said, yes. I said, well, then don't lie to your husband and just ask God. I probably said ask God to get his shit together but because <laughs> that's sometimes how I speak to God and that just proves that God isn't judgmental, only humans are. Ask God to bring you the money to do the training. Don't lie to your husband. Just ask God, can he please bring you the money? He, she, if she can please bring you the money. If God can please bring you the money. Don't want to get in trouble for all those he, she people. Um, but for me, it's not a he. It's an essence. So ask God to bring you the, I can't remember, $5,995, whether she paid $10,000 for it now. It's kind of in the past. So, and just breathe. I live in the present moment. I'm not going, <laughs> I don't have Alzheimer's. I live very much in the present moment. And so therefore, I only th know things that happen, especially when I'm working like this, everybody, especially when I'm bringing through source and higher dimensions of light. It's really hard to speak and you're not going to know that until you get there yourself. But I know other high powered spiritual people who sometimes get their words mixed up and that's because we're right in that moment channeling source to you and that's why some people perceive that I'm arrogant others perceive that I talk too much others get irritated by my voice because what you need is coming through my voice to you and that's why the people who are most pissed off with me are the people who need my work the most because it's bringing your stuff to the surface and there comes truth chimes going ballistic <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> so anyway, so she says to God, can I please have the money to do this? And a uh, few days have passed and it hasn't showed up immediately, which is what we sometimes expect it to do. So she decides that she's going to apply for, uh, through PayPal, which gave loans back then. As she was filling it out, she heard her angel say to her to stop, but she just kept filling it out anyway. And when she went to heal the, hit the send button, she hears them scream, stop. And, <laughs> and so she just stops and puts it aside. That's about 5 p.m. And at 9 p.m., like four hours later, her sister rings her and tells her she has a check for $93,000 for her. $93,000. I always repeat this because it always blows my mind. $93,000. Breathe. But what was remarkable about that was from the moment she made that decision to do that, both of her businesses, which had been slow and she'd hardly made any money in the previous two years, both of her businesses took off and she was able to pay two-thirds of that before the check even cleared. So that's that part that I spoke about yesterday about Source showing up and supporting you when you make a decision to do that. That also proves... When I say to people, if you want to do my training and you don't have the money, don't go, I don't have the money. Because you're so damn powerful, that's what you're creating. Just ask, just say, God, I really want to do Almara's training. How can I receive this money? And so many people, so many people have committed and the money shows up. It just shows up. You've just got to make the commitment, but while you're going, I can't, you're speaking to the 1% of who you are instead of the 99% untapped pure potential. But what I was mentioning there is this proves the, the saying that no desire is ever felt without the substance or the source already being given. Let me repeat that. No desire is ever felt 
without the source or the substance already given. So if you feel like you want to do my training or any training, do anything, and you don't, and you have the strongest desire in your heart to do that, and you don't have the money, don't go. I don't have the money. Just go. How can I? How can I do this training? How can I go on this holiday? How can I go on this trip? And let it go, because what this lovely healer's story tells is that. She, we were talking about her doing the training. And the house just didn't sell at 5 p.m. or anything. Obviously, it had sold. And for her sister to ring at 9 p.m. and go, I've got a check for 93000 It had already sold. And it, so what it was was they had had two units that um, they'd been trying to sell for 15 years. And one of them just sold. And that was her share of the money with her sister. It just shows up. It just shows up. And sometimes when we're in lack and limitation, we can't open ourselves up to how it might show up. I've given two other stories in the miracles. One's called $36,000. And that's about a lady who manifests $36,000 for the rest of her life, $36,000 a year. And another one about a lady who manifested $9,000 who paid for a training and then got paid $3,000 a day at the end of her training. Both of them had no idea that money was coming or where it was coming from and they certainly weren't in a place prior to that before it came up. Meaning that the, like the lady who got paid $3,000 an hour, that had never happened, $3,000 a day, sorry, for three days, that had never happened to her prior to her working with me. The great benefit of working with me and activating the fifth dimension within you is that it activates all of the miracles and all of the abundance and everything that's there for you if you will just show up and connect to the fifth dimension every day. So no desire is ever felt without the substance or the source already being given. If you feel like you'd like to join us to do this fifth dimension training with me, then just ask, how can I do this training with Elmara? I really feel called to do it and let it go. Let it go. And see what shows up in your life. Now, as mentioned yesterday, we're taking in about 10 students pre-course where it will cost $2,222. And after when it becomes a proper online course, it'll be $2,888. And the original cost of this training was $5,995, but it did go up to $11,110. So, just breathe for me. It's a 10-week training program. We take five weeks to connect you to the fifth dimension. I can teach people how to connect to the fifth dimension in two hours over the phone, but none of them ever remember it and none of them ever do it on a consistent basis. So, breathe, just breathe, breathe into all of the infinite wealth that exists within you. And know that miracles are abound everywhere. As I said, I've got four decades. Well, not, I haven't got four decades of fifth dimensional miracles. I've got decades of miracles on my website. But we've only been working in the fifth dimension since 1997, so about 25. Quarter of a century of miracles in the fifth dimension. So just breathe for me, please. And if you'd like to join us for this training, just ask. Just ask. How can I do this training with Elmara? And let it go and see what shows up. We've got at least a month. Well, not quite, no. We'll probably start the training mid-February to March because I have to move house shortly. So we're not doing anything to after that. If you've got questions, please either message me or contact me through my website, www.elmaraserafim.com and know that miracles happen all the time. They can happen in a heartbeat 
and it's really about you shifting your frequency and if you're in a I can't frequency nothing's ever going to show up because you're a powerful being of light and that's what you're creating I spoke to another woman last night who did my training years ago and she had some of the most astounding miracles show up and even for her partner who thought that the spiritual stuff was a load of shit and he was sitting in the lounge room <laughs> watching the football and she was in her bedroom doing the course with me and he had some amazing things show up. I, I'm pretty sure there's some of her miracles are listed on the website somewhere. And then she just says, oh, my, you know, like I'm uh, just battling through this shit show that's called life. And I went, well, that's why it's a shit show, love, because that's what you're creating. People forget the magnificence of who they are and they forget that they're so damn powerful. If that's what you believe your life is, that's exactly what's going to show up for you. So please choose something higher, choose something better, choose something more beautiful. Choose something so magnificent for yourself. You deserve to have the best life. But more importantly, this time, this great time of awakening that's happening on earth, you would not be here now if you weren't an infinitely powerful being of light. As we say, an infinite, eternal, rich, abundant, gorgeous, gorgeous, sexy, radiant, beautiful, powerful beyond measure being of light. You just wouldn't be here. And that you have something to contribute. And yep, you may have had a really shitty childhood like I did. I had a horrible childhood. And actually, it was only just yesterday, or on the weekend when I did that training, that I became intensely aware that I've been angry with God since the day I was born. Like, and I, that shocked me. Like, this is the stuff that can hold you back that was buried in my big toe. Because it was like I got here and went, what the fuck is this? This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> oh, you know, so this feeling of being ripped off, that's, where, that's how it came up. It was just like this feeling of being ripped off and that's what it was. Because apparently, I mean, I came in sitting in a full lotus position, so I must have been, we certainly didn't come into any family that did yoga, I can assure you. Um, there's another miracle about with my family, and I'll tell that another day, where I was sitting in a full lotus position at six years old. And um, anyway, there's no way my family even knew what yoga was. And, um, and apparently from the time I could speak, I was telling people when they were lying, so no wonder my poor mum has issues with me. But I became aware of how I was like, what the hell, why did you do this? Why am I here? You know, so, so I understand that, but it's when you recognise that you came here with gifts. And a lot of us were so high frequency when we came in. We were dumped into families that weren't so hot. <laughs> Why? Because, and this is, listen to this very carefully, imagine if you come in like a high being like I did, you know, and you just lived in bliss, and that would be wonderful if that's what happened. But how would you have gained the compassion and the understanding what 3D people, what the everyday people are going through, to then be able to assist them out of the darkness and into the light. You wouldn't have, because if you came in in light and you stayed in light, you would have no concept of the darkness. The reason so many people love me and so many people relate to me, besides the fact that I'm very practical and down to earth, is because somewhere inside of them they know that I've been through it all in this life. I've been beaten, I've been bashed, I've been physically, mentally, emotionally and sexually abused in the first part of my life. But you never hear me focusing on that except to occasionally tell you like now, you can transcend anything. Those things happened to my body, they didn't happen to me. I'm an infinitely powerful being of light. I came in here to help awaken the world. And if you, I have to tell you that if you are here on earth, so did you. And the great thing I love about the fifth dimension is that once you start stepping into that fifth dimensional light, that, fit, that 5D light, that fifth dimensional light dissolves all those lower frequencies. 
because it doesn't exist in the fifth dimension. And there is something unique and special that you have to contribute and offer to the world. You may not have a sign outside your door that says healer. You might just sit in your heart frequency and watch TV all day and be sending out love vibes to the world. God, I wish I'd got that gig. <laughs> Was it for me? <laughs> but you might also just be going shopping and your light touches the people around you. You might paint pictures, cook delicious food. I'm reminded of the most gorgeous little lady who came to see me. Actually, maybe we'll leave that as a miracle for tomorrow. Hopefully it might be a short one. Um, yeah, we'll leave that because it's really important to have that as a separate one to understand that you're a healer and you don't have to have a sign outside your door that says healer to be making a huge difference in the world at the moment. So just breathe. And I'm actually going to just send out a blast because I've been connecting to the fifth dimension. It'll take anyone who starts new about five weeks. But once you get there every day for five weeks, you'll find the fifth dimension opens up in you and then it just gets more and more powerful. But you've got to remember, I've been working in the fifth dimension for 25 years and I can get in there in five seconds. So I'm just going to send out a blast of this extraordinary fifth dimensional light, golden crystalline light. You can breathe it in if you wish. And you can breathe it into any area of your life. So breathe it into your relationships. Breathe it into getting a new job. Breathe it into your heart. Breathe it into your body. Breathe it into your finances. Anything you want. Or you can just sit there and breathe and see what happens. Oh, wow. Even if you don't wish to become a healer, just connecting to the fifth dimension in your life is going to upgrade every aspect of your life, your health, your wealth, your happiness. And even around you, you can use the fifth dimension. One of the miracles we've already given is where I used it to save 103 rose bushes. You'll begin to remember the power that exists within you and you'll move out of fear into knowing that you are deeply loved beyond your wildest dreams from source and that you're here for a very, very specific reason. Breathe. And your monkey mind might come up and go, ah, I'm just a little old person from Wadi Forest. That's what it used to say to me. Hey, you're just a little farm girl from Wadi Forest, which nobody in Western Australia has even heard of, let alone Australia. And we had a beach shack at Bellagate Bay. <laughs> and you can just go, no, fuck off. That's my lower mind trying to talk to me. Go away. I am mean, this infinitely powerful goddess of light. I'm healing the world with my love. Or whatever it is, I'm healing my family with my love. I'm healing the planet with my love. Breathe. Breathe in and remember the magnificence of who you truly are.
The really cool thing about learning to activate the fifth dimension within you is you'll know that you can heal anything in your own body or in your pets or in your children if you wish to. Because disease, illness, poverty, lack, limitation, all of that stuff does not exist in the fifth dimension. They are all man-made, 3D created things. And when you wake up the power of who you are inside of you, you'll understand why all the not-so-light people on earth, the 10 percenters that are running the world, why they want to keep you stuck and in, and in robot mode. Because and, and everybody gives their power away by getting angry with them. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Every time you get cranky with them, you're just giving them your power. Bring your power back into yourself and wake up the magnificence of who you are within you. And you, if, when enough of us do that, those people won't even exist here. They won't even exist here. The frequency or the vibration of Earth will be so high, they'll probably drop dead because theirs is so low. Don't worry about what the shits are doing. You know, don't worry about them. Focus on your light. Focus on the infinite being of light you are. And it's your power, your love, your light that will transform the world. Alrighty. It seems like a really good place to leave it. Love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. Have a truly blessed day. And I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.